Hello, I'm Councilman Julian Jones. I'm going to bring you up to speed on a few items. Uh, first of all, I hope and pray that you and your family are doing well through this crisis. I am so uh, impressed with the outpouring of support and caring from one another throughout this whole ordeal. Uh, this is something that's just once in a generation. So it's always good when these type of things happen, when tragedies happen, I see people the, you know, the, the outpouring of support from one another, uh, the food drives and all those things is really, really nice. Uh, so, number one, time keeps going on. So, number one is the census. It's time to do the census. You should have had your package at home already. Fill it out, send it back as soon as you can. Uh, this is something that needs to be done and it only takes you a minute to do it. The second thing I would like to talk to you, the next item is the 7th Congressional District election for Congress, replacing Elijah Cummins. Uh, Kwasi and Fume won the primary, but now we have the general election. Those ballots were sent to you at home. You must check off the box who you want to vote for. Me personally, I support Kwasi and Fume. Uh, you check your box off and mail it back. No postage necessary. It must be postmarked before April the 28th. It must be postmarked before April the 28th. If you don't get a ballot, you can always check and see if you're in the 7th Congressional District or if you don't have a ballot, you can call the Board of Elections and ask them to send you a ballot. They'll send you a ballot. They'll, send, they'll email it to you. You have to still print it out mark it up and mail it back. So the next item is of course our personal safety. It's very important that when you go outside that you have the proper personal protective equipment on. So I say that when you go outside you should have on a mask. When you, not just in outside, but when you go to a, a store, some place like that when you're around other people. Practice good social distancing Stay at least six feet away, have your mask on. If you don't have a mask, there's ways you can make a mask. Uh, so I'll have that link here that'll show you how to make a mask. And they've actually done research on what materials work better. So the gold standard, of course, is the N95, but anything you have, a t-shirt, anything is better than nothing. So next thing is, I see a lot of people wearing gloves. That's fine. Make sure you disinfect your gloves. Make sure you disinfect them just as if you had your hand. Because the idea is when you bring these things to your face, the virus gets in your body through your nose, through your mouth, through your eyes. So you have to keep your hands, whether you have on gloves or not, away from your face. And don't forget, Always disinfect your hands. When you touch doorknobs, disinfect your hands. When you punch the keypad for the um, debit card, disinfect your hands. Do these things before you get back to your car. Before you touch your own door handle, disinfect your hand. So practice uh, good uh, hygiene in terms of disinfecting your hands. Make sure that everybody in your family understands how important these things are. Because you are only a strong, a chain is only as strong as the weakest link. So make sure you have people in your family who understand how important it is that they practice good social uh, distancing and good techniques in terms of protecting themselves and their family. Uh, economics. If you are underemployed, I mean, if you lost your job or laid off because of the coronavirus. The federal government has passed the, uh, the bill, the relief package. Make sure you apply. Don't try to figure it out. Apply and then let them decide whether or not you qualify or not. A lot of people ask me questions. You know, do I qualify? Do I qualify? My answer is always the same. Apply and find out. Uh, because a lot of people that traditionally would not qualify for unemployment are now getting it. People that are self-employed, people that are what they call gig workers, 
all these people are now qualifying for this unemployment. Also, if you own a business, a small business, you need to fill out the documentation if your business is affected by the coronavirus. Some of the docu some of the relief that they're offering is like ten thousand dollars in three days. They call it a loan, but you don't have to pay it back. But I have all that information right here. Make sure you fill out the documentation and see if you qualify. So we continue to provide food at certain schools uh, for students. That information will be at the end of this video as well, as well as uh, care packages for families who can go to the PAL centers and get four days worth of groceries, all for free. So that's from the Baltimore County and the Maryland Food Bank. So that's a quick update on some of the things that's going on. My office is closed because of, uh, well, no staff is there, but we are checking the emails and checking the answer machine. So if there's something that I can do to help you, don't hesitate to call, leave a message, or send an email, and we'll do our very best to help you. Stay safe. Continue to uh, remember that we are all in this together and we all want to come out of this together. So stay safe, take care of yourself and your family. And you know, when I talked about all these things in terms of gloves and masks, remember the best thing you can do is stay home. Because when you stay home, you don't have to worry about making a mistake. You, you cut down on your exposure. When you stay home, uh, you don't have to worry about that I disinfected at the right time, that I miss an opportunity to do that. So stay at home as much as you can. And if you have to go out, go out and practice good social distancing and wear the proper protective equipment. Again, thanks for listening. May God continue to bless you and your family. Bye-bye.